camera's a little bit dirty, but can you see me? Can you hear me? How are we doing? Yeah, how to avoid uh, $80,000 worth of damages. The trailer and the product, a lot of it shifted that was inside. All because of a uh, no tug test, and it was the yard jockey. So the yard jockey, their um, fifth wheel can go up and down, raise the trailer up to move it, and then put it back down to, uh, to disconnect from it. <clears throat> he had it all the way down, he's a new guy. And he um, thought the click was the hitting of the frame with the kingpin. What's up, DHL? And it was not the hitting of the frame. It was the, uh, or the not the king the kingpin with that. What's up, Dorian? Expedited America, how you doing? No, that's not mine. <laughs> that's mine. I thought a lot of guys, you guys would probably think that. What's up, Pablo? That was just something that happened recently right there. And you can see the whole landing gear's collapsed and the trailer frame's all ripped open. What's up, Jason? How you doing, man? Caitlin, what are you doing up in here? How you doing? Good afternoon, Benjamin. Amir, yeah, so there's the, the yard jockey right there. Whoop. But he was, it was full of kitty litter, heavy load, and uh, he did not check the kingpin, and whoop, she gone. You can see, sitting on the ground, $80,000 uh, expense right there, guys. Yeah, glad it's not mine too, Jim. What's up, Robert Pitts? What's up, Jim? Jeffrey, how you doing? Wizard, what's going on? Robert, Vancouver, how you doing, man? So we're getting a little short hop load again. Uh, had a little bit, you'll see in today's video, a little discrepancy on the paperwork. Had the wrong pickup number, uh, got it figured out. So yeah, it's sloped concrete, look at that. So that's the, that's the uh, ramp right there and they had to unload it. And then, uh, what's up Jack, what's up uh, Craig? Jerry, how you doing? First time catching you live. There you go, Jerry, thanks a lot, man. God bless you too, buddy. Gary, what's happening? Red Hawk, what's going on? Uh, Red Hawk, I told you, man, pick up Jimmy Garoppolo. He's probably going to go to the Cowboys. That thumb, man. I had the, the crazy thing about uh, Dak Prescott's thumb last night. I don't know if you guys can see that scar right there. I ripped off the ligaments of this thumb um, playing basketball. I had a rebound, and I was looking up court for an outlet, and the guy came from behind me and tried to swat it out of my hand and swatted my thumb, <laughs> ripped it right off. He got a foul for the play, but I had my thumb ripped off, so I had to go to surgery for that. Yeah, Jerry, how you doing, man? Jerry Hawkins, yeehaw. There you go. Stuff happens, just try not to catch everything. Yeah. Adam, how you doing? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> how long does it take? <laughs> Duct tape and bailing wire. There you go. <laughs> yeah, she uh, she gone. She, that's what you don't want to do, guys. That's why it's so important to check your... I mean, it probably wouldn't... It probably still would have been that bad of a damage if it wasn't a sloped driveway. But the sloped driveway did not help at all. The landing gear is completely collapsed underneath it. What's up, Jason? How you doing, man? Patrick, what's going on? Yeah, somebody does not work in anymore for this company. Yikes. But uh, we're waiting to get loaded. Swift probably by the <laughs> Swift probably by the trailer. I don't know. It's a nice trailer. They said they had to the, they had to pay for the, the trailer and the product on the side, so that's pretty crazy. Speedy, what's happening, man? Just lost the load because customer won't work with Landstar. Dang, that's that's crazy. Landstar I've heard has some shady practices going on. At least the brokers. Whoopsie, yep. Thanks a lot. Stan, what's going on, man? I haven't seen you in a while, brother. A yard jockey's not working much, yeah. <laughs> uh, probably not here anymore. Whose trailer? It was uh, just one of their privately dedicated, contracted um, businesses, so they had to pay for the trailer. Swift will buy it and then UPS lease it, okay. <laughs> what's going on? I don't, can't pronounce that word. The channel, thanks a lot, Andy. Johnny, what's happening, man? Roger, what's going on? You did it? No, I did not do it. Uh, I was listening for that click. I almost dropped one of my trailers in the very, my trailer in the very beginning with my Volvo. I was at Harris Teeter in North Carolina and I thought I was clicked in and I pulled and I started to feel it slip and I stopped. I got super lucky. The kingpin was about six inches from coming off the, the fifth wheel. So yeah, I definitely am just like everybody else there. I did, didn't do a tug test and uh, was my bad, but I just had reconnected to my trailer after going to get food. So that was a Rookie mistake there, but it could have been a lot worse for me. Always double check fifth wheel, yes, always. Robert Pitts, was that a Warner driver? I don't know. <laughs> Back in 2004, a bunch of dummies that looked like uh, Swift, okay. Michael O'Connor, what's going on, man? Good to see you guys too. I just thought I'd stop in and say hi. Had a good weekend. So crazy, Sunday and Saturday was raining all day. And then today it's gorgeous. We, we would love to have gone to the lake yesterday, but we hung out, made it a lazy day, watched some movies, went to the park, stuff like that. Nikki, what's going on? Colorado, Ireland. There you go. Very good channel. Thanks a lot, man. I, can't, I don't know, I don't know what, that, how, what language that is, but thank you very much. 
check the kingpin fifth way every time yeah it's it's imperative especially if your truck is for you new guys coming out here if your trailer is empty you might be able to save it and at least use the low side of the gear or the high side of the landing gear to get it back up but if it's loaded good luck you're gonna be i saw one guy try to help him uh, i think it was lowe's where you had to drop your trailer and he did it and he just pulled out and he was turning and it on the ground and i tried to help him i was like he's like no i'm loaded i'm like man there you cannot even turn the, the um the gear the landing gear where am i from i'm from simpsonville south carolina in, in america love the videos thanks a lot neil trans oh thanks a lot neil transport i watch you guys too what's up from the Sigis? what's up sergio zach what's going on dj too tough how you doing man <laughs> we're just trying to discuss how not to drop your trailer on the ground like that and lose your job tim schmott tim schmidt what's going on last week just a job hunt there you go ds be, be choosy man they need you more than you need them find the right place and uh find hopefully somewhere that gets you home when you can and then save up your own truck i know it's not the best right now but it'll it's a supply and demand market it'll come back but uh, right now it's being very choosy this is my second short run this is a 60 mile run for 500 dollars. yesterday's was tw uh, or friday was a 20 mile run for 500 dollars. i'll take that though keep putting money in the bank account paying the bills and and wait for the better days to come uh patrick got a run there you go man maybe see nashville i'll see nashville sometime for sure i love watching your family grow i thought i would follow another family but i guess the lord sent me to you that's a lot jerry that's awesome the channel makes me want to get back in trucking there you go and yeah not right now maybe but yeah charles how you doing adam niece uh, trucking show in October. Would you want to take your W9? Oh, so yeah, we're flying. Adam, we're not taking a W9 into Cali, man. We're uh, we're flying out there. You know, T Dubs, she doesn't want to be in a truck for four days with me, you know, <clears throat> especially back to back. So, <laughs> or three days. We're going to be uh, flying out there. We're actually flying in a little early and we're going to go to a uh, birthday shenanigans with uh, a birthday festival with our buddy. And uh, then we're going to go to the show. Went to Hartwell and was going to drive by your dock and the water was dude stan it's so bad like the low water level is so low anytime you go over there stan I'll, I'll tell you where the spare key is you can go refreshing up spend the night there whatever man uh we got some spare keys i can give you so whenever you want to stay at hartwell you got a place to stay if we're staying there or if we're not staying there we got extra houses <laughs> what's up steven uh jeffrey how you doing had a container driver drop a loaded container full of meat Oof. yeah because then the product's kind of compromised it's, it's crazy uh roger the ro roger the road loads are not getting better there's a lot of loads still available like you can still make money especially if you're going to stay out for a long time and go all over the place but um the rates are not they're, they don't you don't have the firepower right now the brokers do joshua what's going on man thanks a lot man from serbia how you doing thanks for watching man it's awesome Halifax, nova scotia what's going on robert that's cool man your last name ends in an EAU, mine's in an EUR, so you're definitely Nova Scotia. Carl from the UK, what's up, Carl? Uh, T's and P's uh, for the, uh, I believe that the queen was laid to her final resting, place, resting spot yeah, yesterday. It was pretty cool to see all the ceremonies on TV. Robert, what's going on? Just about to leave, got to go to work. There you go, Joshua. Keep, keep making that money, man. I'll see you soon out there on the Griffin side might go on strike the railroads really like pay or hours why are they getting mad what's up michael gray how you doing brother everyone give a shout out to michael gray he's always the first person to comment or first or second person on every video love you michael thanks for the support man kenneth what's going on no it's not stuck it's not my trailer that's uh, somebody that's a yard jockey that's our trailer uh yard jockey dropped that trailer how custom do you intend to make the w9 jerry not very custom um pretty much the interior is what I wanted nice, and we got all the custom seats and floors done and um, TVs in there. Like, that's what I wanted. The out outside, it's a truck. People are going to hit it. Like, my bumper got tagged. I didn't even feel it, but it, it, it bent it. It gave way, so that's why the truck probably didn't move. But I don't know if someone just rubbed it getting out or was trying to back in. Because I stayed there and slept at where the truck was till like, 1 in the afternoon and then proceeded the rest of my journey down to Florida for the 2 a.m. drop. But somebody tagged it and uh yeah so i don't really want to put a bunch of money into the exterior just to have someone tag it <laughs> not to say that's going to happen but you know bought a new truck this year and became owner operator there you go bryson congrats man flatbed there you go music mangled how you doing joan what's going on kenneth how you doing charles worked at a place in northeast georgia container full of yarn and dolly's oh wow dolly buckle man 
Hey, yeah, no problem, Brad. Uh, a lot of people, uh, some people comment on like older videos and like, hey, the code doesn't work. They change the code every two weeks, so other companies can't like, uh, I don't know what they were talking about, but somehow these scam companies try to use the codes and do all this different stuff. So they have like a rolling reset every two weeks. So the code changes, but I don't like go back and change all the codes from the old videos. I just, the newer video has it, you know. Rex, what's going on? What's up, Steve? My bro, Houston, Texas, keep it a great job. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, young ballin'. How you doing, man? Uh, Adam Neese wanted to go to Bristol this weekend. Wanted to stay away from the NASCAR. Is Bristol this weekend? Is that right, Adam? That is crazy because T-Dubs and I were actually talking about it. I think I got. Oh yeah, I got a mosquito. I got him. Killed him. Biting my ankle. There we go. You're the one loading me. Sweet. And those are the inside loop things. The bowls. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Bristol next weekend, okay. Thanks a lot, Mason. Matthew, nice truck, yeah. Uh, I'm getting loaded right by the house. So we, this is a new warehouse. This used to be like a, um, man, that, that mosquito got me on both ankles, I'm itchy. Um, this used to be like a old uh, Halloween warehouse. Oh, they used to make like um, Halloween costume stuff. They have like a bunch of yarn things and stuff in, inside there, it's pretty cool. Let's go jump down here and check out this truck trailer why uh oh, while she loads the truck wise what's going on glad you got it going make like this winter's coming like this winter yeah i'm trying to if it could just be a nice day like this in the weekend we can go out there but check this out guys i'm 42 yeah i can't believe how low our lake is either i don't know if you guys can see that d decently in the with the sun but man she gone Hikes. You can see the whole floor. And all the cross members. Man, oh man. She gone. Canelo fight? Uh, I didn't know Triple G was fighting Canelo. Is it this weekend? You truck, interesting. Thanks a lot. Nothing that duct tape can't fix. <laughs> Little duct tape, but yeah, there's no way of getting back under that thing. She gone. Toy trucker, what's going on, man? Yeah, not good. <sighs> but it's a beautiful day. They say they unload till about seven or eight at the Samsung, so I'm gonna shoot straight down there, 60 miles. Uh, Kenneth, the lake's at least eight feet, probably eight to 10 feet from where the water line is. When we first uh, first bought the house, there was like the rock, rock wall along the shore, and it's way below that. Half our dock is out of the water right now. Like it's almost touching the ground, so. I don't know what's what regulates that water. I know they release it from the dam and stuff, but I don't know when they're going to be able to get it back up. So hopefully sooner than later. Ni Niagara, what's going on? Newman, Georgia. There you go. Probably at that. Uh, oh, you're at Niagara, Newman, Georgia. I thought you said, I thought you like Niagara Falls uh, <laughs> up there by Buffalo. But yeah, I've been to Niagara plenty of times. They're always pretty quick, an hour or two hours, and you're out of there if you're on time for the appointment. And sometimes they'll load you a little early. Bristol. 500 laps Saturday at night. Th this coming Saturday, my W9's at 2012. Um, this coming Saturday, Trader, yeah, Trader told that that was an $80,000 expense right there for the warehouse. Crazy. So the inside truck, uh, we just watched some older videos. I got plenty of stuff inside that, uh, videos inside the truck. And I'll probably, this video I do today, I'll probably have some inside the truck in there. But there's the yard jockey that dropped it. Not the guy that was in there, but that's the truck. Nashville, what's going on, Tony? What's up, Gregory? Start the truck series Thursday. Okay, so this Thursday, man, might run up there with the boys, you know? Might go up there Saturday, I don't know. Gotta make that call, see what t doing. Plus, we wanna get as many lake days as we can get in uh, before it gets too cold. Cause it's supposed to be 59, I think, on Tuesday at night. It's getting colder, getting into the 50s. This Saturday, okay. Sfinney's on Friday at Bristol. All right. I'm going to have to talk to T-Dubs about that. Because it's only like a two and a half hour, three hour drive from us. Man, it's a pretty drive. Take the, take the Hellcat up there. I'll be there tomorrow. There you go, Jason. Getting, getting there early, man. Uh, okay, so you'll, you'll see in today's video, uh, if you guys watched the National Anthem yesterday uh, for the Kansas City race, um, the singer was T-Dubs' cousin. Isn't that crazy? T-Dubs' cousin was singing. You too, Robert Pitts. Have a good one, man. 
Yeah, we got a quick little last minute load. Booked at about three o'clock, 3.05. Had to be here by four. Had the wrong pickup pick number. And uh, don't do that to your trailer. When is T-Dub's getting her CDL? We don't want her on her CDL, you know that. <laughs> yeah, bad day for the yard spotter for sure. Oh man, oh, aluminum and everything. Just cause had the momentum going forward probably. And then it drops out from under. Ooh, I didn't see this side. Man, she go. Is there still stuff inside there? Oh man, it's all buckled. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. No, it's empty. Man, even getting the stuff out of there. <coughs> Seriously, t needs her CDL, yep. Yeah, not a good sound. That's bad, man, yep. Yeah, it's scrap for sure. Could do the national anthem as well. Yeah, she could. Her cousin, he's a, he's a guy, and he's a pretty good dang singer too. It's just in her family. 95 degree days, yeah, man. <laughs> uh, California had like the 110s. I'm like, man. If she, if she can drive the Escalade, she can drive anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, multitasking with the shifting of the 18 speed. I'm not 100% on that, but we could give it a whirl and see what happens, you know. I want to keep my insurance premium a little low, though. But yeah, I'm going to talk to these guys. They're going to get me loaded up. I wanted to just show you that. Always tug test, guys, because that's the aftermath, especially if you're loaded, you know. So be careful out there. We are gonna get down to Newberry and then come back home. Hopefully get a better load tomorrow. But right now the loads are just, um, they're bouncing them for the next day. Sorry for that noise. Take a little thing I can set my arm on here. You put trans in caddy. Nope, transmission still sitting at the lake house. Chilling there. Greetings from Ireland. What's up, man? Thanks a lot for stopping by. You might still pass DOT. <laughs> What if that company went hiring in New York to go pay the same? I don't know. What's up, big hands? Yeah, Chicago Bears, man. And I was saying uh, to some of my friends that um, Jimmy Garoppolo, pick him up on your fantasy because he's probably going to go to whatever team gets a quarterback hurt first, and Dak Prescott's going to be out for a couple months for sure. Brother Adam, what's going on, man? Uh, I wish I was sent to Lake House too, man. Yeah, Seattle Broncos game, I'm hoping I can get home for that. Um, I don't know, man. I don't, I've not heard much about the rail strike. I'll have to look into that. Gene, what's going on? Seen that the legs and inside the trailer were loaded with beer. Wow. Yikes. DHL, you too, man. But yeah, guys. Yeah, Brady, Brady. Uh, I don't think his receivers, like uh, Godwin's already hurt again. I think Julio Jones is hurt again. So all he has is Mike Evans again. So it's crazy. He just can't get some young like if you had like a michael jefferson or justin jefferson or something like that or a thielen someone who's, who's like rock solid that's always not hurt i think he might be in better shape but uh energy what's going on man well and don't be calling me while i'm live come on crazy last time the rail went on strike stuff picked up yeah maybe i don't know yeah edward uh i don't think anybody's beating the bills man vaughn miller Killing with that defense, and, and Josh Allen has a chip on his shoulder. Whew, I don't know if they're going to be beatable. I use the DJI there, Randy. DJI Mavic Mini 2. Oh, yeah, we can get her CDL for achievement. I could definitely get her to pass. Yeah, Jimmy G is second string, but he's a he's a first, uh, first string quarterback. They're just trying to get Trey Lance a chance because the fan base is asking for it for San Francisco. When will the trans start? I got almost all the new fuel line stuff in there, so we can at least get fuel to the fuel rail, see if it leaks. And if we got fuel to the fuel rail, I can like soft wire the rest of the wires and we can try and fire it. Ever been to Santee River? No. Oh, okay, they're working it out for more pay. I see what you're saying. Eugene here from Ireland. What's going on, Eugene? Thanks for jumping in here, man. Hello from Midwest Ontario, Canada. What's up, rescue team? Aiken, South Carolina, man. That's right down there by Columbia, man. Or no, Augusta. I've been there many a times, man. Trailer down, yeah. Trailer down. <laughs> Big time trailer down. Yeah, Chiefs look great. Kelsey's right back to where he was, and uh, their other receivers are pretty good. They didn't drop off much. Lower East Side, there you go. 
DPS is talking about going like Yeah, I think it's weird that they uh their trucks are called T-Force now. I know that they bought them out, but it's kind of weird. Ready for CD. There you go, Randy. Get on it, man. You'll get it done. You'll be fine. Lainey, you might be hiding inside the trailer. <laughs> Hi, baby. T Dub just jumped in here. I didn't let her know I was going live. One year, 6.5 million with the Niners is back up to stay. Yeah, James, but he can be traded. I'm just saying, I think they kept him at that to trade for something better, you know? If they, when somebody else needs a team or if Trey Lance went down, but um, if somebody else needs a quarterback, I think they would take him. I'm not saying Jimmy Garoppolo is the greatest quarterback ever, but he's a, definitely a first stringer. Never do. I do text you, baby. I text you when I'm going live. Old top bubble gum cards. There you go. Cash, uh, some of the kids in Cash's class got in trouble for uh, having Pokemon cards in class. Cash was not one of them. Well, I never detached my trailer because that happened to me. Yeah, yeah, dropping that trailer on the ground. When you passing through Indian Trail on the way to Charlotte? Uh, uh, Indian Trail, I haven't gone there for a while, but I used to go to the Harris Teeter a couple times. Working pretty much regular again. Strong will survive. Yeah, we're just trying to stick to our guns. Go Buckeyes, trying to keep it going, man. Jeremy, what's going on? He said, oh, I'm saying hi to T-Dubs. <laughs> Jerry, what's going on? Thanks for that comment, man. Harry, what's happening, man? Josh Allen, let's go. Yeah, Josh Allen looks real good. He looks real good. Little chip on his shoulder. What's up, Steve Mims? How you doing, brother? What's up, Kenneth? Chrysler Hellcat. Oh, man, I want the new Durango Hellcat. I would love to have that one. Um, and if I'm, of course, I'm going to keep mine. Mine's close to paid off, so... I'm not spending $120,000 on a new white body Hellcat. We'll, we'll stick with our uh, little $400 payment on that car. <laughs> Much better. TJ, Jesse driving. There you go. What's up, TJ? You should add on to the dock. This is when you should add on to your dock. Yeah. <laughs> what is the best way to get a trailer off the ground? You have to have a call a wrecker. A wrecker will come lift it up for you. But uh, that one's going to... Yeah, I mean, I would at least get a wrecker out here, but even getting it up, the platform where the where the kingpin is, it's all messed up. You're not going to be able to really pull from there anymore. See you, GT. Take care. You too, Steven. Or Steve. Falling off the truck, T's and P's for anyone. Did? Yeah, not a good day. Eric Forklift, yep. Two chains and a 20-ton wrecker, yeah. 70-ton <laughs> rotator wrecker. Yeah. They have, like, these, uh, the pulling bars. They'll put the pulling bars under, but, but that thing is like on the ground there's not even a gap there because it's at a slant so that might be a little bit more into it to get that one up freddy freddy what's going on man 104 run call ron pratt there you go it's empty that'll buff out <laughs> yeah all right guys well we're getting loaded I'm not 100 sure what we're getting but it's going to samsung so samsung's making a bunch of washer and dryers out here in south carolina and uh, we're more than obliged to taking them everywhere. Cowboys suck. <laughs> They're definitely going to be pretty bad without uh, without good old Dak Prescott. Airbags to get that one started. Yeah, yeah. What happened? Red Hawk, see you later, brother. Ronald, what's going on? Uh, so, yeah, we're getting loaded with something. No idea what. But God bless you guys and do a tug test. And there'll be a video coming out today, probably a little bit later. Try and get this off the truck, get this edited, and then... Um, Maybe get the pool, probably not with the boys. They got school again tomorrow. And but I'm definitely trying to go watch the football game with T Dubs. Go get that uh Russell Wilson reuniting with his old team. There you go. All right, guys, God bless you. Take care of yourself.